also we should have done a steady cam interview. <laughs> Not actually move the camera, but I would really feel more comfortable if there was a steady cam. What kind of video is this? I, I think we're more on our knees. Is this one of the ones where I have to pay or where I get paid? <laughs> With our eyes looking at the camera. They told me they'd be filming outside my pens. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting paid more. <laughs> I just like the weird atmosphere of trashy. They told me that they were disease free. And Not enough bands are doing it. And I could trust them, they'd been tested recently. And I don't know if I was chosen or they just were too lazy to interview other drummers. They made me feel like a, a natural woman. <laughs> Not like a creepy way though. I also like that they never make me wear pants. My opinions come from Paul. The singer. I don't think he can spell. And I have yet to wear high heels. I, they told me to hit drums, I did. <laughs> Kids, you stay off drugs. What, what do you like about Energy Studios, Clint? I, I don't. Uh, we're in Energy Studios in Austin, Texas. I love recording in Energy Studios. And like when you're in that side of the house, it's a house. But when you're in this side of the house, it's, it's a studio, you know? Erica won't give me cigarettes because she thinks I'm a good boy or something. You know, we got all this neat stuff here and there's blinking lights and buttons. Drunk with the guy. His name is Matthew. Matthew Lee Clark. Uh, Matt has been giving us great sound. And this here is Matt. He worked with Jeff Molesky. Uh, he worked with Chris Steinmetz. And we gave him money. Yeah, not enough. Not enough money. <laughs> we never have enough money. Uh, even if you're assigned to a record label band, chances are you're broke and you're poor and the outcome of that record label deal is you're just going to end up in debt to the record company. If you're going to record, record here. An analog environment. Analog and digital. I record analog because it sounds better. I didn't know we recorded analog. Digital basically happens in a computer. Isn't analog the word for fake heroin? It might be. Analog is done with just electrical signals. Right. It gets yep. you so many steps closer to the way that Nevermind was recorded, the way that Appetite for Destruction was recorded. title that we're going for for this album is exactly the wrong idea. I thought, I thought we were calling it Mussolini Plays the Blues. <laughs> this is here the new album. They're going to ask where, I thought this was Lady Gaga. We're coming out with our next album. It's called Songs with Even More Curse Words in it. <laughs> it turned what? out there was another Mussolini who spoiled it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> sure, they're also all going to shit their pants. Mussolini yeah, is going to be thing. so bummed when we tell him. Th th this one guy told us one time about polishing a turd, and we really took that as far as we could. Yeah, we're going for quantity over quality on this record. Truthfully, truthfully, phenomenal record. I am a hundred. Phenomenal sure players. That that phenomenal polishing jackasses all in here. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing record. What's all this right, button? It's going to sound great. Fuck that piss cut. So mixing and mastering are the two things that require big chunks of money. It's helpful. Someone's watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone knows what mastering is. I've never gotten a straight answer of what mastering is. It's kind of the white whale. It's what makes a record sound good and it's expensive. That's Newton's laws of mastering. I don't really hear any specific influences. I don't think not, not quite yet. AFI, I hear, I hear David Bowie. Area I hear, I'm a big fan. Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. I love punk. I love metal. Like shitty I metalcore. You know? Pop punk sometimes. Yeah, against and me, I Megadeth. I hear the Blue I, Man group. You know, I, I gotta mix in some T-Pain and oddly dark lyrics. A little, little bit of like convicts. Uh, kill switch yeah. engage. Uh, in flame. I hear the Beatles, Dio. I see you whining and grinding up on that pole. I see you looking at me and I already know. Yeah, yeah, you can fill in the rest of that. I think is that we just don't give a shit about anything and anyone. We the Human Torch applied for a bank loan today. <laughs> we make the kind of music that we like. Yeah, scotch, scotch, scotch. <laughs> Scotchy, scotch, scotch, scotch. Whether or not that's ever going to be good business, it's what's fun. It's really punk rock and like, like its essence. I think it's 
overly complex in a ridiculously uncomplex world. Up in your fucking face. They do exactly what they fucking need to do. I hit my teeth. And the things that are going to happen to you if you go to a traction in the kids show? It's entirely possible you'll get crabs. So in order for records to get made, people are turning outward to basically patrons of the arts. You will probably have an orgasm I, at least once. I, I think crabs is a given. That's what record labels used to do. Now music has been sourced out to the internet, to anyone who wants it done. It really depends on how many crabs you've ingested recently. Because most likely you're going to vomit. And anyone who cares about a band can put money forward and have a real stake in what comes out of it. You not be able to wear your, those clothes to work anymore. You may not be able to talk to your parents anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and someone's rubbing my head, which is kind of nice. But by watching this video, you agree that regardless of what the paternity test says, I am not your baby daddy. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Wait. I have a small collection of banana hammocks at home, but I didn't think this was one of those times where I should wear one. They told me it was informal. Make sure to go to TrashyandTheKid.com, Facebook.com slash TrashyandTheKid, and hit the button that says, I request that you shave Nick's balls in his sleep. <laughs> In my city, because not every city can host the Olympics. Get over it, you sore losers. Nick has balls? I don't want to talk about it. The end.